Okay. Well, it's all on, so it'll be good. <laughs> That's possibly the worst one I've ever done. Okay, so. Today I'm going to be making a model aircraft kit. In this case, ah, my wire is not long enough to show it, but the Revel Icons of Aviation British Legends gift set. Now, I got this a few years ago and just never got around to making it, but now I have the time. So, let's see what's actually in here. Do I open this? Oh, people are going to hate me for that. This is a little five kit. Hoping that means it's difficult. Okay, so inside we have a Bag marked Hurricane Mark 2B. Bag Lancaster Mark oh, Lancaster B Mark 1 to 3. Evidently, there were no exterior modifications for that. And a Spitfire Mark 5. Then we have the paint packet. We literally have the bottom of it there, so nothing. So, inside this little box, we've got a set of glue, because I don't have loads of that sitting around. One of the Revel double ended paint brushes. And yeah, three six pots of paint. Oops. I think it's just packing paper, there's nothing in it. And the paints are sixty eight. 79, 08, 76, 59, and 92. I'm assuming there's some form of system to that. Let's check that. Check it in. this paint out in quite some time. Or, I think this is the one that I've been using for years and this is the new one. It's still fluid in there so I'm assuming it'll still work. So I'm going to start with the Spitfire Mark V. 
I sure hope there are instructions with this. Seems to be a relatively simple kit, so it shouldn't be that difficult. So the instructions are a fold out. So that's positioning for the decals and some decals. <laughs> They are well hidden. More positions for decals. And basic construction. Now, I have no intention of doing a good job on this, so... So if I can put them somewhere where they will be slightly out of my way. So apparently stage one is to track down the chair. Which is 26. Which is this bit by here. Now just because I'm not bothering decorating it properly doesn't mean I'm not going to do the rest properly. Is that pin on the end supposed to be on there? Hmm. And the question is, is that bit supposed to be on there? Because it's not on the drawings. It's off to the side. No, it's not on there. Whoops. Off the flat side. Come across here, get this bit. And that's one bit. Now we have to track down number four, which... Hmm. That's 25, which will be useful later, but not yet. Um... Number four appears to be a wheel. Yeah, like number four, if you look by there, that's definitely a real wheel. Where's that decal number four? Hmm. I mean, it does quite clearly say number four, right? Or are there two number fours? If there are two number fours, this is going to become very third. Okay. So that rear wheel has number four on it. And so does that, but that actually looks like the bit it's supposed to be. So I'm going to make a decision here and say that that number four is the correct one. Now, I know to do this correctly, you put the decals on before you put the stuff in and you paint the internals because it looks like an absolute mess if you do it afterwards. Oops. 
Then just go across, get this bit. Okay, and the only other bit is number 25. So are this references? So that one looks like 25B, which means this would be sprue B. Okay, there's a giant B by there. That's... There's a giant B by there on that one, and a giant A on this one, which I stupidly missed. So that's why I couldn't identify it. <laughs> hey, if you're after professionality, don't come to me. So we cut out that bit. Get smooth enough. Get that little bit of an up enough. Wow. Well. So, um, this seat sort of goes into there, maybe? Oh, it sticks on at the back up there. This hasn't been used in months. So I've tried clearing it out a bit. Hopefully it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's use it without the needle. It's having none of it through the needle, so I'm just going to have to do it out, but out of the jar. Did I just realize how much of a bad idea it is to have the door have the door shut? So we let that dry. <coughs> so we have to track down O3 because well we can put two and three on. Right, so that's the number five that we need. <laughs> and that's why I have more than one file. Tortured these in the past, haven't I? Okay, and the other section is 
free, apparently. <laughs> free, of course, being the control stick. That's still not going to work, so... Oh wow, that is way, way, way too much. Well, good thing it's on the inside. It doesn't really matter that much. Stay standing. <laughs> I remember when I had to make these kits out with tubes of paint. Oh wow, I nearly got that the wrong way. Oh, that. Some bad casting, actually. Forwards and across. Okay, fine. Ignore me. Oh, no, 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 no. Straighten up, straight up, straight up, 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 up. This point is that's actually falling down. Is this is where patience would have been important, but I'm apparently too lazy. <laughs> you know when I chose start the easiest <laughs> Evidently I am not very good at starting with the easiest stage after the next stage because <coughs> okay so the next stage involves putting this being finished somewhere which I'll go out on a limb and say that's not ready like under any description of ready I don't think that covers it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the section after that which I can actually do
Well, it's the same kit since 1996. Let's actually cast it in. I'm guessing the Spitfire isn't really something that's changed. Since like the 40s. So it's yeah, it's not really something that would have changed. So yeah, I guess the models can rinse him. Have a bit of over overcasting there. A bit of spillage. I have no idea what you'd actually call it in the casting. Is there an industry to casting? Oh, I'm wrecking this. Ooh, that sounds nice. be a problem without just sticking it together at the end. A little bit for there. I have no idea what that symbol means. Make a hole. Sorry, I thought that was your job. That way, I think. Yeah, the wheels play back there, and that faces towards the back of the V. So apparently I've got to punch some holes in this. Some of this around the edges. in as little of this as possible. So we're having barely any overflow on this, which is pretty good. Now this glue works specifically by melting the polystyrene, because this stuff's basically dense or I dense, more well, medium density polystyrene. And this stuff, I still have no idea what it is, but just melts it. It 
that's how it combines the two surfaces instead of adding an adhesive between it literally welds them <laughs> which means if you get on your fingers like I did by there you just end up with it melted So we have them coming together. I mean, that's literally what the area down there was made for. Oh wow, that's way, 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 way too much. There is a support. That that stick is having none of it. Oh, well, guess I have to use the instructions to wipe my fingers. Well, it's better than anything else I have around here, unfortunately. That's done, and that's done what we need. Well, we can do 6A and 6B, which is to build the wheels. I mean, that should keep me occupied for a minute or so while it's drying. I wonder which one 10 is. 10 is 6 B, which goes with 6 on A. Um, that's an antenna. That's A. That is 6, which is an antenna. I mean, B doesn't have anything there, but... Hmm. Is there like a wheel bit that goes in it? So it's 11 and 12, which are... Um, yeah, 11, 12, which are up here. So that one there gets 12, which is this one. I mean, I'm assuming that's where it starts because it's quite hard to tell. And I dropped it. Oh well. Let's just use the cutters a little bit to tidy it up. And once we've done that, first the method and Like that. 
and a little bit, bit more like that. Okay. And take a bit off the top here because That should be all right. Time to deal with more glue. Wow, these little bits are fiddly. Okay, and that's in the hole. <laughs> that took a lot of work. Can't wait to do that again. So while we're letting that one dry, we'll pull out number 11 and 9. It's quite evident they belong together. Oh, nuts. I've dropped it again. Oop, there it is. And a little bit by there. The next one is to get number 11. And just above the end there. These are obviously support struts, so if you're after a proper name for them, I'd go with that, but I preferred it when the needle worked. These things were far more accurate back then. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring my grippers because I didn't think I'd be needing them. I thought this would be far um, easier. <laughs> feeling that's melted in the wrong spot. So this is going to be a lopsided Spitfire. It's okay, I will claim that there was a spy involved. <laughs> sure if that's set there. I have no idea how to get that back bench on, or that little tray, because I can't... Too high. 
too low. Wow, okay, that's pretty high. Um, do I have anything that's that high? Ooh. No. I'm surprised that's too high, to be honest. It seems to be exactly between the two. Oh, I have another one. <laughs> that sort of city you're multiplying, it's fine. Nope, too tall. There you are. Just traumatize it a bit. what a light is made of we could have an explosion I hope it doesn't <laughs> so eight go okay so I'm just going to assume that that six is in fact an eight because seven is the other one's equivalent and it makes far more sense to not put the antenna the one that's slightly longer is the one that gets this That's good enough. Oh, that's the new one. That's the old one. No, that's the new one. There's nothing coming off it. <laughs> Pulling out the needle is just like you mean it's actually still attached? Okay, in you go. In the hole. So that's another wheel. Now we just pop out number seven. It is literally the spine or the dorsal antenna that is number six, which is why I'm ignoring it. Not so much ignoring, I just think there's been a typo or something. Okay, evidently it's not going in that way. And that's in. So now we need to stop breaking out the body. <laughs> okay, so this propeller does not... What? How does it stay on? Oh wow, that is some overspill. Look on there. Oh, 
Oh, this one's got some major overspills on it. No, not that far. That one is a bit too brutal for me. So if we go across there and just get this section because it was pretty bad. When it's an actual connection surface, you've got to be pretty careful in keeping them clean. Wait, no, is that a bit of detailing or some left over from the casting? It's quite difficult to tell sometimes. Yeah, that's left over from the casting. So, so a little bit of that. On to the next one. Okay, and just a bit down here. I'm assuming that little pit is intended to be uh, with the uh, Pillar for the front goes in. Let's run a bit down there, run a bit down there. Yeah, it's mirrored on the other side, so I'm assuming it's meant to be there. Now, at this point, the instructions are assuming that this is dry. So I'm also going to assume that that bit's dry, because it's more fun that way. <laughs> How high above the front is it supposed to ride? It's none at all by the look of it. Yeah, like that. Oh no, it's butted up to that, isn't it? Oof. That's going to be pretty difficult. Hold it there for about five minutes. Oh, I know it's not super glue. Breathing on it doesn't work. So if we get that bit, leave it down there. And you can see as it falls apart. Okay, so it's asking me to punch small holes in it and I mean, I have a drill bit on the desk, but I'm not entirely sure that this is appropriate. <laughs> so I don't have a bit as small as they want, and I wasn't expecting them to want micro holes to be put in stuff. So, um... I 
Right, where do you want some holes put? Oh, those aren't. Okay, so the instructions are telling me to put section 14 and 13 on, but they mold it. So I don't need to put a hole there. So where does this end the wings? Or ultimately, are those like bigger ones? Why do I have to put a bigger one on when it's molded? Okay, so 20 is the wingtips, is it? No. Okay, so. 13 or 12, oh sorry, that's no, 20 and 21. I swear I have done this before. So the dry fitting went fine. To be fair, if the tube on that glue was working, this would be a lot, lot better going together. Give a little gullwing edges just to wind people up. Like, I was never on a Spitfire. It's like, um, yeah, it's on my one. Also, the wings weren't made of plastic. Okay, let's drop you down there. I really need to get some proper paper for that. Right, this is dried, assumably somewhere close to the correct position. <laughs> so if I just dab a bit. Any surfaces I expect to be touching, get a little bit of glue. Yeah. Something I always forget while making these, just how horrible the glue smells. Hold that together. Then give it a bit of a rub down. Just make sure I got most of it. <laughs> now usually I'd be using pegs to deal with this, but Okay, we are all prepared for that, so we're fine. 
The next stage is seven. Apart from the fact the stick is like hot over that way, so the plane will be rolling and... I mean, it's not leaving the ground, so one shouldn't really be that concerned. <laughs> so, that's the size of the wing box, and... To be fair, if it had fit this time, I would have been more surprised, but... That is close enough. Oh no, you've decided to stay in, have you? Just put some glue along there. Just put a little seam. When you just have the tiny needle, it works so much better. Most probably why they give you it. and flex the wing down a little so it fits. Now if you look around there you can see a little bit of over, well, overcasting. So you don't do enough to wreck the bodywork, you just... If I had something to wash my hands with, I would just use my finger but, you know, that's sort of a bad idea, so. So, these are the engine exhausts. Which only have three exhausts each. Meaning that it's definitely not using a melon. I think I spent like a year making these in work just on my dinner time. Detail-wise, it doesn't seem to make much difference which way goes up, which way goes down, so... I mean, I'd be more worried if I cared. Oop. Wingtip's coming out. Being a bit too brutal with it. Oh, there is actually a noticeable difference. There's supposed to be a little pin in the back that just isn't on these. I may have cut them off. So. This one set of exhausts. And there's the other. <laughs> Just make sure I get all that off my finger. Go in and scrape it. And do my bit of a mess. Great is to put the tail on. Surprisingly late in the game for that. But it's one 
because these are reversible, I think I'll quite easily be able to tell which one it is that I'm looking at. I mean, and there's only the alternate wingtip left. So here's the other tail. And <laughs> hopefully they'll have enough time to dry before I come back to it. But ultimately drying stuff is supposed to be in front of that camera. And this, you have a little knob, you have a little lump to get rid of. And just a little bit to get off this one. And on this one. As we'll know, the little V there was back facing, so it will continue to be back facing. And of course, keeping the control surfaces towards the back is important as well. So, no, nope, in the hole. We need to block it up. Come on, in you get. Just run across it. Right. So, this bit goes in there. Eventually. There you go. And My tail is wonky. Just a little bit, but So you put rockets on the back. <laughs> so 
can't really do anything on it at the moment. Okay, so apparently the propeller goes straight on so it can spin but everything else is stuck. I don't see this one actually spinning. But, who am I to argue? I think that's all I've done so far, isn't it? So we've got the prop. Prop housing. Or the end of the prop, sorry. Cone. I'm guessing on the real thing it's considered to be like part of the prop itself. enough. I'm guessing if it's stuck to the prop itself and there's a locking ring. Well. So I mean this bit here is the locking ring and That was the locking ring. There it is. Yeah, it's that big. It's absolutely tiny. <laughs> so. Next section is actually the wheels, so. So I can either have them up in flight position or down. Oops, no. Nope. Both of you stay up. <laughs> I think the last time I did these, it took me my entire break just to do the wheels. It's a bit annoying when you don't have any form of framework to hold it up. I'm going to just get my fingers because this is the one that I messed up. Uh, 
Admittedly, this is not going to run straight. It's going to be turning permanently, but it, it makes sense for the stickers. <laughs> so. If I get the little tail wheel while I'm here. Where did I put the other cutters? I mean here, right behind the camera. And yes, all the cutters that I'm using are microelectronics cutters. So which way down does this one face? Back. Now I can list off a long list of mistakes that I'm making. Including, I haven't attempted to dry fit one of these bits yet. But then I'm just doing this for fun. And I mean, this model kit, I bought it back about four years ago. Oh my god, it was more than four years ago. God, it must have been like. God, it must be like six years now. And it's just been sitting in my studio and recently moved to the office. And it's like, I can throw it away or I can just make it. So I just, well, I've got some time. I might as well, right? So fortunately after this, we're mostly down to sticking guns on it. But that's once these are done. At this point, I think they're actually dry enough. I mean... So if we pop this on there, it seemed to be what the instructions were implying was the correct solution. Well, that's barely spinning, I guess. Okay, it did not spin when I blew it, so that's marks off. Did I this loose? That's the absolute minimum I can get on it. There you go. Some touched, I saw it. Okay, then just make sure that remains loose. Okay, don't put it on the landing gear. The landing gear can't take that weight. Not yet. I mean, it will at the end, but not now. Okay, so if I do this... Okay. As long as none of it's touching, we'll be good. I mean, I am not, I don't have high hopes for this working, okay? 
like all the other ones where I've had where they've had working propellers and they've actually spun. They were actually spinning down to the fact that they had a little plug inside the body that spun. Whereas this one here is so hopefully that ring won't touch. Like either side, it's far more fiddly and far less likely to actually work. Lid back on the glue. It's a good way of further reducing the fumes. tubes because I happen to have them. As an aircraft it should be balanced on the center of the wings. If it isn't somebody has messed up. I'll be the first to admit it's probably me but So we have to spot down 18 and, yep, yeah, both 18A apparently. I mean, that's fine. We can get these little cannon barrels. Hopefully not lose them. Nope, not happening. <laughs> yes, that's one barrel. I mean, that'll do. What else is there? There's a little antenna on top, but I think we'll let the landing gear dry before we attempt to stick anything up there. Stop there. a little bit around the lip. Okay, so now I can just slip that back on and right. Well it's still rotating so that's good. The only two things left after this is the cockpit canopy. Whoa, 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 gun, 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 get back in cannon. Get back where you're meant to be. Oh, man. There's like nothing stopping me doing this, though. Careful, careful. And there you go. I never paint the insides of my cockpits anyway, but the clear poly is always far more brittle than the uh, colored.
So if we pop that on, where do I need to glue? It's a little bit around the back and a little bit around the front. It's more than enough. And that should be more than enough. I have to be careful not to get it on too plastic because it'll well if you get onto the plastic it whips up into your fingers or into your fingerprints and then it just burns them permanently onto the model. I've had these things go com I've had the ca canopies in the past go completely white because of that. And the only thing left on here the radio antenna. Did you speak better at this? So just pop a little bit of it. Even though when I was little, I used to use so much glue. my little spitfire. Admittedly, it's still missing the pitot tubes and so, I mean, it has no idea how fast it's going. We're going to assume pretty damn quick, but it's still no proof. But, I mean, after that, yeah. And I'm not going to be painting it now because I just wanted to make the model get out of the way, but... Let's put those there. Put my Spitfire between it. And hopefully by next time That'll be, well, hopefully by tomorrow, that'll be, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Hopefully by tomorrow, that'll be dry. And then I can move on to the next one. Because I imagine it's going to take more than two of these to hold up a Lancaster. I mean, in theory, in practice, it should only take two, like one under each wing. Because, you know, airplanes are designed to balance on the wings, because the wings are doing all the lift. And, well, yeah, it's basic sense, really. <laughs> okay, so, um, hope you enjoyed me sticking together an airplane. Bye.